Hi everyone, Gina Hoy here with Balanced Body Solutions. Today we're going to talk about quad stretching. I think it's one of those stretches that people have a tendency to do a little incorrectly. It can put a little strain on your knee. It also can put a little bit of strain on your back, um, probably the back more so than anything else. So some of the traditional ones might be like the standing quad stretch where you're pulling back behind, but what tends to happen is people arch their back a lot with that. Even if you try to keep it nice and tight, most people still have a tendency to arch the back. The other one that I was often taught is lying down. Same thing here as far as you're trying to go back and people do tend have a tendency to arch the back a little bit too much. So the way that I like to do it is to prop on your elbow and actually curl forward just a little bit, kind of tighten up that core. And then we can work on taking that leg back. So I have my heel position basically right in the middle of my butt, and then we're coming back. Right now, my hand back here is only keeping my foot against my butt. Now, if you're not quite uh, as flexible, that's okay. You can just hold it back here away from, but still try to keep it in the center. And I don't have it up here weird or down here that can torque the knee a little bit. So keep it centered right there. The actual work is being done with those glute muscles. So I'm just a little letting the butt do the work. I'm squeeze, 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 and coming back. So the stretching that I prefer to use is AIS or active isolated stretching. And the concept of that is the short hold time, about two seconds. So that's what I'm using here. I just personally prefer it. I think it's a better way of stretching. Then I'm going to take the knee down. This to me is kind of the uh, money maker when it comes to stretching quads because so often we just stretch through that middle plane, but dropping it down here is really going to get along the outside of the quad. And especially for uh, athletes, we can get really tight in that lateral quad, that outer quad muscle, and this will definitely get that. So same thing here, my heel is positioned right in the middle of my butt, knee is going to be down on the floor or as close as you can get to the floor, and then we're just sliding back along. So since I'm already in a flex forward position, it's not going to make me arch my back. I can kind of keep that position as I'm going back. So same thing here, just about a two second hold at the end using my glutes to do the work here. I'm not pulling with my arm. I'm just keeping the foot against my rear end with that hand and the work is all happening in the glutes. So that's the way I have found to best stretch out your quads. Um, it just, I think is a little bit safer for your back and it is, um, extremely isolated, honestly, and doing it that way. So I hope that helps you guys.